think this may be it. Oh God! Hey neighbors, it's Dakota, and you're watching Next Door Boys. We are talking about first dates. Most of you would probably assume that I was going to talk about Christopher, since I always talk about Christopher. I always talk about Christopher. I always talk about Christopher. Jokes on you. Except that you would be right. First, I'll tell you how I met him. I used to be, well, to say I was a bar dancer. And I was actually talking to somebody else. Really hot, nice arms and chest. We're talking. And he's like, I bet you know everybody here. Isn't that rude? I find that a little bit slap in my face. He was calling me a slut. I find that completely rude. He thought I was going to use him. That was only about 70% true. A slut. Turning around, I'm looking for somebody that I don't know. I did know pretty much everyone there. The only person I didn't recognize was this 20-something Abercrombie polo shirt wearing Harry Potter glasses kind of guy. I go and I look at him and I say, excuse me, do I know you? <laughs> no. I turn back to the super hot like Persian guy. See? I don't know everyone. Then I go off. I'm Dakota. What's your name? Hi, I'm... I'm Chris. And he was so cute! He looked scared that this, like, you know, dancer kind of guy was talking to him. He looked terrified to be in the club. I really wanted to get to know him. Unfortunately, he wasn't so sure he wanted to get to know me. He ended up talking. Somehow his pants started getting unzipped. He had to leave the club. We finished in the car. Our conversation, of course. Actually, we didn't do anything that first evening. He, as we were driving away from each other, I'm going one way on the freeway, and he's about to go on the other, and he's trying to get my attention, waving goodbye, and hit the side of it. He scrapes the side of his car along like the center median divider. <laughs> Makes me feel really special. But our first date, I remember I bought a gray and navy paisley pattern shirt. He took me out to P.F. Chang's, which is this really super delicious um, Chinese restaurant, and he paid for everything. It was weird because normally I was ex I expected people to pay for me, but. I was totally willing to pay for him. The way he was set apart from every other, you know, stereotypical gay guy told me that this was someone I wanted to be with. And, you know, like, four years later, here we are. Yay! Oh, and then for our first anniversary, I'm just gonna throw this in there, too. This was my present for our first anniversary. Love it. 